Yeah, as you don't know, everyone counts. Take it here, and I don't know if I want to make this the first episode of my Pokemon Go uh, series, or if I want to continue it on from my previous. I think I did two videos. I know I definitely did one, but I can't remember if I did a second one. And I've also uh, did a lot of Pokemon Go uh, stuff during my Kane's bedtime series, but. I'm not too sure just yet, but basically what I want to start doing is uh, recording my progress in Pokemon Go, because, yeah, as of late, I've done a lot of uh, Pokemon catching, done a lot of tasks. Whenever I did my last Pokemon Go in Kane's bedtime, it would have been Halloween back in November. So I did the Halloween, and then I think I recorded it on October 31st. I can't remember, but it's been that long since then, and... I've caught a lot of Pokemon, I've done a lot of tasks. Now, this I might try and do some vlog style stuff with Pokemon Go, like when... Oh, I completely forgot, I did a lot of... Not a lot, but I did a couple of Kane's vlogs on Pokemon Go. Uh, Pokemon Go in the Storm. So, with things like that, I'll try and... Or, lost my wording. I will try and maybe do something like that as well for this particular uh, series of videos, but just to start it all off, I'm just going to show what I've caught and just pretty much talk about the, uh, the awesome Pokemon that I have caught, and one, I'll say to the very end, I was so happy when I caught it, I was like, yes, but do not forget to screen record, uh, I'll tell you what, let's get the audio going, or is it going to be the one where they sing? No, I don't think so. I know there was a point in time when there was a um, man and woman that would sing. So, right away. Actually, a Pokemon just rocked. Whoa! I time traveled! Not time traveled. Jeez, I traveled across the map. Oh, a couple of Electabuzz. Are you shiny? Got a Magnemite there. No Electabuzz. Sorry. <laughs> Sidetrack. Uh, I'm not going to catch him. I'll just I'll record the video first. Okay, I might do these in order. So, to kick things off, I forgot to include this Pokemon for my Halloween uh, episode of uh, Kane's Bedtime. I called the Pikachu cosplaying as a Mimikyu. Completely forgot about it because I didn't tag it, unfortunately, but there we are. We'll start the video off with that. And what an adorable little costume <laughs> that Pikachu's wearing. Okay, I already have an Alolan Marowak. I think I've got two, no, three, including this one. Uh, I actually caught this in the wild. I think I was on, I think I was on the treadmill, and I just had an incense going. Uh, so technically not in the wild, but um, it it showed up. So yeah, you don't have to rely on a raid. So confirmed. All right, I managed to catch a version. Version. I've never heard of this Pokemon, but it was a, I believe a legendary raid, a five star raid, and managed to get one. So another reason I wanted to start doing this because I was doing Instagram stories where I was just posting mini stories of what I've been doing in Pokemon Go. Kind of stopped doing that, but I th this is another way, a reason I wanted to do this. It kind of sort of feels like I'm still doing that in a way, just showing my progress and my journey. I believe this is the, how do I put it, the alternate version? So if it was, if I, I can't even think of the term. So like Zapdos, Articuno, Moltres. So with that previous one, this is the one that would be with that one, if that makes any sense. So, Cobbleon. Actually, I'm pretty sure I already had one. It was the Legendaries event where all the legendary Pokemon were showing up. All right, I already managed to catch a Lugia, but I did the uh, Team Rocket event where Giovanni shows up and he'll have a legendary Pokemon. And I don't just have one, I have two. <laughs> I was keeping the previous event to save it because I wanted to get two Lugias or another legendary Pokemon of my that I wanted and hopes for a shiny but I didn't get one unfortunately. So I'm very excited for the Johto event. Me and Luke have it off so the whole weekend we're going to try and catch as many of the uh, the Johto Pokemon as we can and hopefully get their Pokedex complete because I only need Corsola if I remember what that Pokemon's name is. I, see it's region only but I'm hoping it might show up in a raid and I think there's a, a I need the baby version of... Uh, I know I'm missing a baby version of a Pokemon. 
And then there's a few more that I need to get, and then that's the Johto complete. Managed to get a Frost Lass. This was during an event, if I remember, and I actually really like the Pokemon. It's really cool. So I like Frost Lass, but I like the... I can never remember the name of it. It's that floating head with the, you know, the the points coming out. I really like that Pokemon, and I didn't realize that Frostlass was the female version of the evolution of the the starter, not starter, uh, the previous evolution of that Pokemon. I tell you, I'm spewing. Luke managed to catch a shiny Charmander the other night. I mean, see, I have a shiny Venusaur and a shiny Blastoise. I want a shiny Charizard just to complete the you know the original trilogy. Okay, one of my first major sort of uh, events where I spent just the day catching them. I managed to catch a shiny Shinx, also a shiny Luxio, and a shiny Luxray. I actually have a ton of shiny Shinxes, and what I'm going to do, because I've managed to catch a, a male and a female shiny set, so now I'm just going to transfer the rest, so it's not clogging up my, uh, my box, but... Yeah, that was a good day, catching all those shinies. And I really love the shiny form of Luxray. It looks really cool. See, I was originally holding out all my shinies in case, you know, a few of my friends who, because no one's playing it anymore, it's just me and Luke in our little circle. I was keeping them in case they wanted to get back in and, you know, I could give it to them, like trade it to them, but I might just <laughs> get because I don't think they're going to get back into it. See, like me and Luke, well, it's not so much Luke because he was still... A fan of it. I quit the game because it was full of shit. <laughs> I, just with the the weekly events where you could get all the legendaries, Zapdos and all that, I was getting the same one and not the ones that I needed and I just said, I'm done. Bye. But then I come back to it and I wish I'd stuck through it because then after that month it was like s singular events where like Lugia showed up, Ho-Ho in the boxes and I wish I'd stuck through it. Funny enough, the reason I got back into it is because at the time me and Luke were walking down the beach because we like getting up in early in the morning and going having a walk and I thought, well, I'm walking, I might boot up Pokemon Go again and oh, I haven't looked back, I've been playing it almost every day. Not hardcore every day, but you know, when I head to work, pokey spin, pokey spin and then just keeping on track of events. Alright, up next is Shiny Spearow. I don't know if I want to evolve it. I know the rule is don't evolve your shiny Pokemon in case you find the evolution Pokemon and happens to be a shiny, but uh, actually, well, I'm not going to do it now because what I've been doing lately is if I'm not powering up a Pokemon to be a higher level, I'll use the Pokemon that I can't power up so high. I'll use them as a you know farming evolve to get points. I mean, in one 30-minute egg, I managed to get 100k points, which is really good because one of my tasks that I bought a ticket for the Kanto event last year I have to reach level 40 to complete a task and I'm only 37 so it's a nice way to sort of jump up quick alrighty the next two are very important to me Moltres I already had a Moltres this one's special to me because the Moltres that I had before was traded by Luke because when me and Luke got back into it, it was the event where the legendary birds were showing up and we hadn't, I'd only had Articuno and Luke had Articuno and Zapdos. So we were trying to get back into, into the raids and we learned about the remote passes where you could just go into the raid without even going near that place. And unfortunately I missed out getting my Moltres, it ran away and I couldn't get into a raid with enough people to get another one. So Luke traded me a spare one of his well, they showed up a few months ago, managed to catch my own, and now I can call it mine, so very happy with that. And just keeping on that, I now caught my own Zapdos. That was another Pokemon. Luke had caught two. We got into two raids. Both of them fled for me. I just could not get it caught. And at the time, I wasn't curveballing. This was when... See, I was practically fresh. I was new. I didn't know about the remote passes, how they worked. Raids, me and Luke, we barely did any raids because we couldn't get enough people to finish any of the raids. And Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> but, um, so we were fairly fresh and, yeah, got away from me twice. But now, finally have my own. So I can officially say... I've completed the Kanto Pokedex now that I've caught all of them on my own. I think I just added this because it 
because it's a five star raid. Uh, Rishi Ram, I'm pretty sure I already caught one and I just added this because, yeah, it was a raid and I managed to get another one. Aerodactyl. I was on my computer, I, I was just doing, I don't know if I was editing or watching something, but I thought I'll just boot up Pokemon Go, see what's in my, my little pocket. Aerodactyl was hovering there, so I was amazed. I couldn't believe a, a wild Aerodactyl showed up and it wasn't even an incense. And this Aerodactyl completed one of the tasks that I was stuck on where you had to catch one Aerodactyl, so awesome. All right, there was another event with uh, shiny Swinubs. I managed to get one Swinub, but unfortunately I couldn't get three to do the evolution of each one. So I went ahead and just evolved into the third evolution, you know, Mum was Swine. But uh, yeah, me and Luke, we struggled with that one. We got two Swinners, we couldn't get a third one. A long Graveler, why did I add you? Can't remember. I think, I think this was a level three raid and I managed to beat it on my own. So I thought that was worthy enough to be, you know, <laughs> in this vlog. I need to change, I just realized I need to change the tag now. It's no longer a Kane's bedtime thing. Alrighty, Dredgun. I had no idea why I thought I had to catch this now. Because it was during a task event that you would finally get one. So I don't know why I was so panicked to try and catch one, but I got two. What Pokemon are in the area? We got Grumble, Porygon, Hoo-Hoo, the, the Leafy Gear, the newest one to the family, uh, Heli something. I call it Flappy. Got a Voltorb, Jolt. I'm amazed that Jolteon's showing up. And then Electabuzz. <laughs> Talking about that deer. It was so long before that one showed up and Milo couldn't find one and managed to get a couple and yeah, evolve into the uh, Saws bug. Look really cool. I actually got a couple of Typhlosions, uh, just raids that I managed to win and I was gunning for a shiny and I don't know why because I actually have a shiny Typhlosion already. The biggest reason is is one of my favorite Pokemon all the time. It's Onyx, Venusaur, Tyvalosian, can't remember the rest, but those are my top three. Come on, give me a shiny Electabuzz. Spoiler alert, I'll just say this, me and Luke were fuming. The event with their shiny Slugmas and a few other Pokemon, we had probably caught 200 Slugmas, not one shiny. We were fuming. And Salt in the Wound, because I can't remember which Pokemon it was that I managed to get a shiny of, literally as soon as that event ended, and I just, a wild Pokemon showed up, shiny. Deadly Bird, I hadn't caught one yet, so I managed to get one during Christmas. This was a nice surprise, I managed to find another shiny Swablu. I already had, had caught one when there was a Swablu event, but now I've got the complete set. So Swablu and then the uh, neck, uh, the evolution of it as well. <laughs> I actually caught another one, I forgot I had two. So now I've got three. Gonna butcher it, Curium. That is a badass looking Pokemon. When this one showed up, I was like, I want that. Oh, I was really happy with this one. Uh, a shiny Fletchling. Uh, there was a event last year or so, when, around about the time, I think, when I got back into it, or it may have been before a Rage Quit. I actually can't remember. But uh, yeah, I managed to catch a shiny Fletchling, and I have a second shiny Fletchling. So now I can complete that family tree, because I already had the third evolution of the shiny court. I can't remember the name of it, so now I've got the full tree, which is awesome. All right, as soon as me and Luke found out about this event coming up, we made sure to stock up on Pokeballs, incenses and everything. Managed to get a shiny Machop, shiny Machoke, shiny Machamp, which I named the Champ. <laughs> so yeah, a family tree of shiny uh, Machop, Machamp and Machoke, so really awesome. I was so happy that I managed to get a full shiny set of that. Managed to get quite a couple of the uh, shiny Machops. Also have a shiny Rosalia. I really struggled because Rosalia was showing up a lot and I think it was with a Machop and Swinab, if I remember, and I managed to catch a, a few shinies of the others, but I was wanting to get another one to evolve and I just couldn't and yeah, unfortunately, but I really like the uh, shiny with the blue and the black rose. It's really cool. Shiny Tepig, but unfortunately I already had a load of shinies, but it was just during that event and I thought, oh, I'll whack it on. How about you? Ah, oh, these names. Escavlia, uh, a lucky Pokemon. Me and Luke had the first evolution, and rather than do the candies, we just did the trading thing, which was such a cool feature, and yeah, mine was a lucky one, which I'm really happy about. I have another shiny snow run, so now I can do one of each of the uh, different evolutions. I just need one more so I can complete the tree, which would be really awesome. So yeah, that Pokemon there, I, I can never remember the name, but such a cool looking Pokemon. 
All right, everyone, it's gonna be a weird jump cut. My battery just went to one and I've got one charging, so I'm just gonna quickly swap out. There we go. I just uh, recorded Kane's vlog, so I thought while I'm here, I'll do my Pokemon Go one. Uh, Galarian, Mr. Mime? Yeah, I forget Mr. V Vime. Mr. Mime has a different, you know, version. And I uh, don't just have one, I got two, so I can hopefully evolve it eventually. I got a barber shawl with a party hat. <laughs> it's so awesome. Uh, I actually have Charmander, Hoo Hoo, and Wobbuffet. But I didn't get a Squirtle. I didn't put them in the tags, unfortunately, because. I just forgot about him until I saw the Bulbasaur with the hat and you know, it looks so awesome. Shiny Hippopotamus? No fair, you're giving the easy words. Bro, I'm actually really annoyed with this Pokemon because I got this as a Shiny. During the Shiny Slugma event, didn't get a Shiny Slugma, but I got a Shiny Hippopotamus. I managed to get another Aerodactyl in the wild, but I think this was an Incense one if I remember. So yeah, it, it's possible now. I mean, I remember when Pokemon Go first uh, was you know, first released in 2016, yeah, and you wouldn't think you'd be able to catch Aerodactyl and other Pokemon in the wild today, it's just, it's come a long way. Remember when I was saying I got really annoyed because I didn't get a single shiny Slugma, and then the next Pokemon I literally <laughs> caught was a shiny. I'm very happy though, because I managed to catch a shiny Ladybug. When I first got Pokemon Silver and just, oh, such good time with that game. One of my first few Pokemon I picked up and I stuck and kept it in my party for so long was uh, Ladybug, well, Ladyun, and I actually really like Ladyun, such a cool Pokemon, and I have a shiny Ladybug, and I hope to get another one at some point so I can do Ladyun. Oh shit! Oh, come on. God damn it, I hate that. I was right, my game glitched, and I was able to get to that spot and wouldn't let me have it. <gasps> Voltor? <clears throat> I might catch that because I want the candy. Come on, you bastard. Yay! Just keep Voltorb in your mind, everyone. Next big event. A shiny steel. I'm so happy. And another shiny steel. Another shiny steel. Another shiny steel. Shiny Celia. Shiny Wolverine. I think I have enough to do a full uh, family of a uh, uh, like male and female of the these Pokemon. But yeah, that was a, a recent event uh, last week. So yeah, me and Luke just for the whole day managing to catch a load of shinies, which is really awesome. Jeez, another Tyvelosion. I put this in because. It's a really strong Tyvelosion. I'm, I think it's stronger than my other Tyvelosions, surprisingly. Weather warning. Yeah, I'm it is really hot today. I think it was like 45 degrees. Thank you for being caring. No, thank you. Gets it more right than the weather people. Right, do you remember Voltorb? Got a shiny Voltorb. I call this one today. It's my recent one. I've breathed through this quite quickly, actually. Uh, yeah, and I named it Grey Torb because I love the idea that the shiny Voltorb is blue. Like the Great Ball. Nice touch. I really like that. So I'm hoping to get another one to do an electrode. All right, everyone, on to the last few Pokemon. I decided to move away from the tag and just typed in the name because, oh boy, when I found out this Pokemon was showing up, I didn't stop. I just, whenever one showed up, I just caught it, tried to catch it. Some ran away, unfortunately. Uh, bear in mind, I think I only had about six uh, of this Pokemon to begin with. And now, <laughs> here we go. Three, two, one. Look at all the Onyx I've caught. I've got a really big family of Onyx now. Yeah, I was just, as soon as I found out that Onyx was showing up, catching as many as I could, and just hold that thought because during that time, I nearly passed out. I have shiny Onyx. I'm so happy. The one Pokemon I've always wanted in this game I now also have as a shiny. I was so ecstatic when the shiny popped up and I was like, get the gold berry on, Ultra Ball, you are not running from me and managed to catch it. So happy, I mean, I'm pretty much done now. I know there's the whole Pokedex and a lot of Pokemon to catch, but my main goal for this game was to catch Onyx, shiny Onyx, complete. I am done now. Those are the two major tasks that I just wanted to do, and it's complete. 
unfortunately what I was hoping to do was to catch another one to get a shiny Steelix because this shiny Onyx was during the Christmas event where I think this was with the Swinub as well and the Machop and yeah I managed to get one unfortunately with the recent event where the Onyx was showing up quite a lot couldn't get another shiny but that's okay I have one and it's in my collection I'm so happy and that's it that's actually I'll go back to the so these are the I was I was scrolling down I didn't want to spoil the shiny so as you can see I've got quite a few I think the stars are the ones I already had so yeah I have quite a few onyx I was originally just gonna keep catching and not transferring them but I might just stick to you know 10 to a family now I'll just you know just keep the top 10 ones and yeah just to save on space because if you told me a year ago that I was gonna have this many onyx I would have said yeah right I couldn't even get one like not from last year but when the game first started I mean Luke managed to get two at the time and I couldn't even get one but look at that <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna transfer one you know I won't say crushing into candy I'll just say released so they can start their own herd of onyx because you know the top one at the moment you know the top the pack leader yawn my onyx my my first onyx that I managed to catch and also a female which is awesome and yeah named her yawn you know that's a lot of people have to me it's you have that one Pokemon you always name and you always want to have Onyx is mine, always named it Yawn because it's a reference to uh, the giant snake from Resident Evil because the scientist nicknamed her Yawn because of her, the way she looked when her mouth was open, looks like she was yawning. So that's why I named that Onyx there because I'm a big Resident Evil fan. Alrighty, shall we catch some Pokemon to end this video off? Yeah, I, I thought I was going to be here for hours, so yeah, breeze through that quite quickly. Get over here. This was really good. I was hoping this would be not just me showing Pokemon, but you know, catching some Pokemon, talking about you know what I'm planning you know for Pokemon Go with the next event coming up, you know, events, things like that, and yeah, just <laughs> really stoked to be playing this game. I was saying to Luke that you know with these uh, recent Pokemon games, it's sort of hard to stick with. I have a Pokemon game, Pokemon Go. It's, it feels like I'm the one in the game, so yeah. I'm happy with that. All right, I'm gonna raid you. I need you to power up my super Electabuzz. Oh, before, I nearly forgot. I'll show you all the tasks that I managed to complete. I've been pretty good. I haven't missed a task yet. So there we are. So I need to reach level 40, and holy crap, it's gonna take me a while. Still need to do that one. Catch two Kabooty. That was the Aerodactyl. That one, the task completed. And I need to get a Tornadus to do this task. I got the other two, but I never got the Tornadus. Because my game plan was, because Luke caught one, I thought, well, just trade it over to me. I'll take a snapshot and I'll trade it back. Well, you can't trade back. So I said, no, no, <laughs> we're not doing that then. So, yeah, here's all my tasks up to date. It's building up now. This <laughs> field deal. Yeah, that was the mounds of power was that one with the onyx. Tell you what, you probably all noticed a tag. Training. These are all the Pokemon I'm training to make stronger. So, because with raids, I find that I'm using a lot of Pokemon that are so low powered. So, with Charizard, so just bringing up the topic where I was, you know, going to point farm with evolutions. I'm not going to do my Charmanders. I'm going to save the candy and power up my Charizard. Uh, Arcanine, he could be, you know, quite powerful. I think he's like 27, 28. So I'm not going to evolve Growlithe. I'll power up my Arcanine. So that's all my training Pokemon. Pretty good moment for Muck because this is a power. I think 29, 27. But a lot of Grimer are showing up now, so I'll get a lot of candy. So that's all my. Yeah, there's that type lotion that I'm going to power up. So yeah, pretty good. So here's my Johto Pokedex. I need 173, so I think that's a baby version of Clefairy, maybe? 
core Solana because it's region exclusive. Hopefully it shows up in a raid. Yeah, I think it's, oh no, Clefairy might be that one, 240. I'm not too sure. So not too bad, I just need three more and I'm done. Alrighty, we're gonna end it there. Thank you all for watching. Yeah, I'm gonna keep on top of this. Uh, probably every month, I reckon. You know, just I'll do another vlog video because, yeah, not a lot of Pokemon, you know, sharp for me to put into, you know, uh, not Kane's bedtime, but in this series. But yeah, with the uh, Johto, actually, I'll do it after the Johto event. Hopefully, build up some Pokemon then, and yeah, hopefully, I'll level it up by then. I'm not too far off. Just get onto level 30, yeah, and. Uh, yeah, I won't hold it up any longer. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all later. Gotta catch them all.